Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. So my hair is still a little wet, but I have a window of time to do this. So here goes. <clears throat> Ministry can be really hard. So pray for those that are serving and especially pray for me and the ministry leader uh, that I serve with here, Phyllis Newby. Uh, she's just an amazing lady. Um, so this week I was led to a book um, by Bob Russell, a senior pastor for over 30 years in Louisville. And he wrote a book called Take Comfort. It's encouraging words from Second Corinthians. And it's mostly about Paul and his journey and a lot of things about Paul. And a lot of times I relate to Paul. Um, Cause let's face it, ministry is hard. It really is. And, um, but it's one of the most joyous things that we can do because you know, when you're called, you're blessed to be called. And, but we're not gonna receive or even know a lot of it, this side of heaven. Um, so we just have to rest in the fact that we have to daily um, rise up and um, push away flesh and try to live in the spirit. Um, so we know that Paul was one of the greatest missionaries and one of the greatest men in history, but he was frequently criticized. And, um, you know, after all, you know, he persecuted Christians before his conversion. So, and he claimed to be an apostle, but he wasn't one of the original 12. So, and who could believe no one witnessed his experience on the road to Damascus. Um, he was accused of materialistic motives, taking money for himself. Um, repeatedly, he had criticism that he could write boldly, but his writing didn't match his presence. <clears throat> and um, that his w letters were weighty and forceful, but his presence was timid. You know, have you read something by somebody and you just thought it was just powerful, but then when you saw them, they were like timid and it didn't just really match. So um, he was constantly under attack from the people in, his, in the church. And he had established this church in Corinth and it had been very difficult um, when he was being criticized. But Paul wasn't surprised because he knew that Jesus was criticized as well and constantly under criticism and by and, and usually from religious leaders. So um, Jesus reacted with the love of his father, like in Romans 8, 6. This is a scripture that I was led to this week dealing with a difficult circumstance here. And I will share that experience maybe at a later time. But Romans 8, 6 says, for you to set your mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. And I know a lot of my devotions have been about the Holy Spirit recently. And I just think that that is just because it's a timely um, message, especially for me, because I have to constantly pray and reach down in there and pull up what Christ would want me to do, not what I want to do in the flesh. Because believe me, I have, and it's usually not good. So, um, uh, as I was led to share this message with you today, there's been, you know, a couple of things that's happened this week that has been very, very hard, but God has brought me through it and, and, and I'm still going through it, but it, I, I'm, I'm do it with the spirit, with him right there with me. And, um, he's going to be there through every difficult time and, if we just allow him to help us and lean into him more than into our own um, strength, um, it's usually going to work out a whole lot better. So I hope that message is timely and I hope it's a one that um, you will um, receive and understand that, you know, pray for your, uh, ministry leaders and the people that are uh, serving. Pray for uh, Brother Kyle. Pray for Shay. Pray for uh, Susan. Pray for all those people that are constantly in the spotlight serving because it's not just one or two that they're uh, in contact with. It's a lot. It's a congregation. And people can sometimes be critical, even sometimes not meaning to. So... Okay, I'm going to leave you with Romans 8, 6. I'm going to read that again. 
So for to set your mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. So go in peace today and be filled with the spirit. Love you all.